Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, Tominze. My name is Tomi and today we're going to be talking about this really cool thing called LARP. There are two kinds of people watching this video. One, you know what LARP is and you really just want to know what like somebody's first experience was. Two, you have no idea what I'm saying, you don't know what LARP is. You have like, <laughs> you're like so confused, like what is LARP? So LARP stands for Live Action Roleplay and it is basically a giant game of make-believe for adults. People take on characters, people take on personas in fictional worlds and the worlds can range from like this modern day world to like a fantasy medieval one like there's so many different kinds of worlds and there are usually like plots that they're trying to push through so it's not like everybody's just like playing make-believe like there's actually something you're working towards now i discovered larp about two years ago and i've been thinking about it ever since i started watching like momo o'brien videos and then like the larp house i was like i need to go for this like this is perfectly up my alley i'm like very obsessed with disney i'm obsessed with fantasy i like the idea of being able to escape like real life and go into this other magical world then i moved to california there's a couple really active live groups really close by in southern california so it became a real possibility the larp that i went to was like a medieval fantasy kind of larp in this larp there was magic in this larp there were elves which are actually i will now here on refer to as a fendel because the term elf is actually derogatory in this world there are all kinds of like magical creatures i'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory about um my preparation for this specific larp and then i'll talk about like my actual experience um so if you want to jump into my actual experience i'll put like a time code or something the larp that i'm talking about is called twin mask it's very popular larp i think it has like over 300 players and so I knew that in this world, because it's a medieval fantasy world, I wanted my character to play like a character from a culture that was kind of modeled after like French, German, medieval worlds. And so my character, like, she's a noble from a country called the Celestine Empire, and her name is Aurelie. And so she wears like this like velvet purple hood she has like this like corset it's really cool i'm gonna put some videos of her or pictures of her here um but she's a I, she's like so much cooler than i am putting it together was just such a really cool piece for me um and i wanted to be like really diy about things but to be honest i'm not a very big diy person like i'm not very good at it just like developing her backstory and everything i'll show you kind of like what i use because i use a bullet journal which meant that i just made like a little spread where i had like stuff about my character so you can see this is the this is my character page that i made for myself so that's like orly's backstory like why she's the way she is all the information you ever need to know about her and like stuff that would just help me to play her better one of the choices that i made when playing orly was to give her an accent so i gave her a french accent um it's is it a good french accent debatable but i tried really to like give her an accent that i could like slip into and stay in so it would really help me just like not be me because I have trouble with accents. I like switch around. Like I have so many different accents at this point. I don't even know what my voice is. But Orly has one consistent accent and it's French. I can make a more detailed like information like about how I actually prepare for a LARP. Because I feel like there's a lot that goes into it. You have to like really prepare. So much as the people at the game are like preparing all this stuff for you. Like they're preparing the game itself. But they can't also be responsible of taking care of you as a human being. So... You have to like prep for like where you're gonna sleep you need food you need clothes you need like a bunch of stuff you're a human being um so for food i basically i go to college so i basically just got dining hall food froze it and took that with me um my school also rents out like camping gear including a stove so i could defrost my food so that was like a really quick spiel on how i did that so moving on into my actual experience at LARP. Ooh, I read some talking points. Hold on, let me just... <laughs> Dude, I'm pretty sure I have some video of like me like being very excited for LARP because I was so excited. Like, <laughs> So me getting to LARP was actual chaos because I had plans to leave at 3 and I didn't end up leaving till 5.30. Hi, it's me. It's game day. I'm stressed. <laughs> 
it's already three o'clock and i have not gotten ready at all it, i didn't end up arriving till like six o'clock and it was already getting dark and i had like never really camped out like in like really camped out before like i've done i don't know how to describe it i did like doe anyone who does british curriculum school you know but like, i had to set up the tent by myself i had to stake my tent i was really anxious like because i was going by myself to this place where i was going to be for an entire weekend i, I felt scared because a lot of people have friend groups that they go with to larp and as much as like you can try and be welcoming to new people people are like it's just inevitable in inevitable that when you're a lone person in a place that has already pre-existing groups you will feel a little lonely and i was very scared of feeling lonely because i have like no there is no going back like once i've once my tent is staked into the ground i'm there for like a weekend so listen up which is basically like the start it marks the start of game and all the announcements is at 8 p.m and i needed to set up my tent and register as a new player so one piece of advice if you are going to specifically to twin mask larp is please arrive really early the lines for new player check-in are really long while i was on the line i did make a friend who ended up being my friend in game as well shout out to ashton slash scout for being just a great pal for being a buddy to orly and to me i didn't make check-in before listen up so listen up basically signals when game is on and when everybody goes into character so listen up happened they made all the announcements um, i found out that there are coyotes on camp which freaked me out like so much media left and listen up regardless of whether you were checked in new players got to be trained so new player training happened and basically they take you through like all the stuff that you need to know about how to larp so it's really like if you've never done any role-playing game kind of thing before it's very friendly towards that because they teach you like every single thing you need to know about like weaponry like for example i had a sword my character had a sword so like how where you should not be hitting people like in the head or like the arm that's holding their weapon the words and their meaning so like forsooth or like um poison 10 poison 10 you know stuff like that like so you know if you're getting attacked basically <laughs> you know how to respond to said attack but i thought it was pretty good because i've never done this before so but i had watched the video religiously and i had read the rule book like a million times like i was so excited for this thing it was a lot of training actually it was just a lot of time i guess um eventually we got to return so in this specific game, all the characters have been brought back from the dead for a specific purpose and they don't know why. They have like, some of them have like memory loss and they have like clouded memory. My character had fractured memory, which meant she remembered some things from her life. She remembers how she dies. She remembers like some stuff and then other stuff is just like, it's blank. She doesn't really know what's happening there. My character finally got to return back from the dead you know we went to like behind the camp kind of like where the npcs get ready and stuff npc stands for non-playing character and um basically a lot of cases i think you actually because this happened throughout game a lot of cases you close your eyes and they dictate what the scene is what's happening so like when i was returning it was like they were we i had our eyes closed we had our eyes closed and they were telling us like um you know what we were feeling what's happening what are we seeing the pain of coming back to life all that stuff you are really just like imagining it in your head but they're dictating it to you so it kind of feels real you know they have the npcs make some sounds or so also feels kind of real and strange and scary and then they drop you in game and um people are really open to the returned one thing i really appreciated and really liked was for newly returned they give you like a blue band or something to wrap around you somewhere so that people will know that you're a newly returned and they'll like pull you into like they'll like kind of take you in pull you into plot stuff like that me and ashton who i had met on the line who um is scout in game so scout is a fairy he's he's a half fairy, so he's a fox fairy he and i ended up being friends which is really cool so that already eased some of my anxiety about kind of being alone in game because i already had somebody who was really friendly and you know like i felt like our characters worked very well together like scout is this very naive fairy and orly is just very wary like she's always surveying everything like 
what's happening so it just worked out really well <laughs> oh my god one thing to note is the fairground where this game happens is so cool it's a permanent fairground so the structures are built so they really mimic like a medieval world and so when you're stepping into town wearing your boots and your corset and your cloak and you're wearing your you have your sword in hand you really do feel like you are in this medieval world i mean there is like camps for different groups uh, there's even a place called murder alley which you just don't walk down murder alley at night you will die um <laughs> It's just so cool. I had a blast just really immersing myself in the place. There's a tea shop. There's a tavern There's so many cute little places that people just like go to and chill and you just like get to like Talk to people another thing I can say is like twin mask people So in some cases, I think it's half half some people already have like their agendas They have the things that they already need to do and they already have planned and they're sometimes too busy to really be open towards new people but I found that in my experience a lot of people were really open to pulling me into plots which I appreciated um, I got to do some research which you know I was just looking for someone to teach me how to do some magic and this person was like you know what um, if you help me with this research I'll give you something that will help you to achieve your overall goal so I was like that sounds really cool and I got to do some research and I was really grateful for that because I wouldn't have like known how to get into that before it's really nice that there are people who take the time to include you i also loved that there's like two kind of aspects to the game so there's definitely like the fighting like the with the sword in hand like actual like battle sort of fighting which happens a lot in the night so in the night it's like very heavy fighting but and oh my god like the amount of times i almost died is actually kind of crazy um <laughs> like my character died not me in real life but there's also like in the day there's really heavy role play so you can attend lots of events you can attend meetings and you get to do like all this really cool role play and it's so much fun you get to interact with all these crazy kinds of characters um one of <laughs> i had so many good moments like i cannot just say how many amazing people i met during this game i i made a bunch of friends we're gonna start a mercenary group next game which i'm really excited to do um so ruslan puck scout i can't wait to start our mercenary group it's gonna be so much fun i got to go to the tavern once and just like talk to somebody for a really long time about like just like stories about the history of um the specific town because like Orly is new to this place. She doesn't really know much about this place. So she's really just curious for any information she can find. And this person was just really great. So that was Robin. Shout out to him. I had a really great time. Especially with the fact with how nervous I was. I guess I'll talk about like the cons or like the stuff that I struggled with in game. Um, so in game, one thing I struggled with was like my character. I think I was playing really myself. But like with the French accent. And more thirsty to get into battle which i guess is what orally is but you know i feel like i want to really exaggerate her personality a little bit more to differentiate it from mine because it did feel like sometimes like i was just playing myself with a french accent and this only happened once really where i was just sort of waiting for like a solo like 30 maybe an hour some tips something i learned during game that i think would be helpful for me next time or helpful to you who's going in is to have some goals for example my character right now I, she's really trying to work towards learning some magic like learning some sorcery finding someone who, t who can teach her to get her some like scrolls so she can actually like do magic and not just like have mana because that's like having magical having the magical ability is kind of useless if you're not doing any magic you know so like i wanted my character to be able to do some magic i want her to really be able to do magic and to fight with a sword so those are her two like things i want her to get really good at have goals during game so that's like one tip that like i feel like is helpful just so you can cut down like your waiting time because like you could walk around town and have have no goals and something would happen like there'll be like something to fight you there'll be a monster there'll be something um uh, but i think it's a lot fun a lot more fun especially in the day if you have like you have like something you're trying to do <laughs> like you have a goal <laughs> in life because i think also it makes sense for your character to have goals other really cool moments that happened in your game my character got to meet along like she got to meet members of her family um which was really cool because she's never really met them before they all kind of died so she got to meet 
members of her family that are already dead and they had a little house villains reunion and hopefully she gets to do that more often because it was really cool meeting them they seem like really cool characters and she'd love to interact with them more or lee also got to be um part of the fairy court so she met this like full fairy called lord tamlin that was such fun like i had so much fun during that there's a battle happening or at least fighting in it she goes into bleed out and she's healed so she goes into weakness so she can't use she can't fight for like 30 minutes or something so she goes and she like is walking around and she sees like this like like think medieval french over the top kind of vibes aesthetic this is what this fairy is like this fairy is wearing the white wig he's wearing like the painted face it's so funny and there's a battle happening and he's just like having a ball having a great time talking to people creating his court um and so orly got to be a part of that court which was really cool so thank you for including me in that that was on the highlights of my um saturday night but i think i'm gonna just like talk about like i'm gonna do a little summary of everything overall now so basically going in i was really anxious really scared getting there i found out that people are really friendly people are really open there were a lot of people that just like helped me from the start like jordan for example like shout out to jordan who was just like really friendly to me like even before stuff started he was just like a lovely human to me and i appreciated that get there early because check-in is long don't buy a sword your first time because they loan swords out which is really helpful they had a lot of swords to load i was really scared i wasn't gonna get one but they have a lot so don't worry about it have something for your character to do have goals have a hobby have something Ooh, one other thing that happened you know what you know what this is not a decompression video so i'm not gonna say everything that happened in case you actually want one maybe i'll make one for the next game because next game is in march and i'm really hoping to go for that i think that's the end of this video i've been talking for a very long time because i had a good time and i didn't expect to have as good of a time as i had i think there's something really cool that all sorts and kinds of people who are people in real life like they have real jobs they're real people get to come together and just live in this fantasy world it's amazing and i just i'm i love that it's there i love that there's a community there for it so that's it if you have any questions um i'm thinking of doing maybe a q a video about larp after maybe i've gone to my second game when i'm more informed because i'm still kind of a newbie um there's still a lot i don't understand but if you are interested in just like knowing more leave me questions down below or DM me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave it at that. Twin Mask Life. I encourage you to check it out. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. And I'm gonna go now. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.